Hello everyone, this is Maggie, back with another video. Today I am working on painting the inside of my privacy fence. So as you know, I've already painted the, um, the section you see there that's in gray. That's the section that covers my back deck. So that's already been painted. So I thought I would bring the colors all the way around and to match the, sh the, the storage shed, which I, I did before I did this. So um, here I am just washing it, washing down the, um, the fence because like when it rains to the bottom, there's a lot of mud and stuff. So I had to go get my paw washer because it wasn't doing, the hose by itself wasn't doing such a good job. So I paw washed all sides of, it, of the um, fence on the inside. And as you can see, that, that took some time. And then this is an area back here where I just had like a lot of leaves and stuff which I eventually clean up. So yeah. So I didn't want to just have you guys watch me like power wash a fence. So I've done that and I'm starting over on this side now to paint it. And I will advise you guys, it's always a good idea to get a spray painter, um, which is, it's wonderful because it saves you a lot of time and a lot of energy and effort when you do it with a spray painter. Now the good thing about it is your paint will go a longer way because you have to mix the paint with water so that it can be thin enough to get through the, the sprayer. So that's the sprayer. I think I bought that about a couple months ago and paid like $159 for it. So it's a good investment because I've painted and sprayed. I've, I've um, done my deck, both the floor, the outside and the inside of my back deck. Um, I did my the inside of my storage shed, the outside of my storage shed. And now I'm able to do the inside of my fence. If I had to paint all this stuff by hand, there was no way I could have gotten all this stuff done. So if you're going to do a lot of projects yourself, like as far as painting, I would highly recommend you invest in a spray, in a sprayer, a paint sprayer, I should say. And they range, if you want just a small one that you can do like furniture with that I have also have one of those. I think I pay like 60 something dollars for that. And they go as high as 300 and something dollars. Well, the, the more expensive ones, I believe, are the ones that professional painters, house painters and stuff, that's what they use. But I thought this one would do a good job for what I needed it to do. Because I'm not going to be painting houses or anything like that. It was just for what I had to do around my house. So I, I did this and I had to go back over a couple of times because, um, because I missed a couple spots and I didn't really want the fence to look, you know, kind of janky. So I did my best to, to think, although by the time I got done, I realized there was little spots like under to the bottom of the fence that I didn't get. And the reason you see these rocks under there is because all the way around my fence, I also have a chain link fence ar around my property. And I had this fence installed inside, but this part of the fence here, there's no um, chain link on the other side. And my dogs, especially TK, the, the smaller one, he likes to dig to try and get out so he can run and go around to the street or wherever he wants to go. So that's the reason why I put those rocks there so he's not able to dig like a tunnel underneath and get out through the board. And plus every time it rains, the earth, the, the dirt and stuff moves and makes it like the area that they can get out, it, it kind of makes it a little bigger. So I put those rocks there to prevent them from going on the other side. Bella, she probably won't go because she don't care. But TK, he is an escape artist. He's always trying to escape. So some of you guys know I had an accident. A drunk driver drove into the front, the fence in the front of my house. So I had it fixed. 
so now um, Bella and TK can actually run around in the front of the house because the gentleman who did it, he put an extra um, piece of pipe in there so that the hole for her for, for them to get through is very small so they're not able to so i can open the front gate and let them run they can run in the front they can run in the back and have a, a good time and i don't have to worry about them running in the street so that's one good thing that came out of that accident so yeah with this i had to keep changing hands because sometimes one hand gets tired and the other hand so I had to keep see I had to keep changing hands and making sure and then I kept telling myself I needed to go and put on a mask and put my um, goggles on but I think I think eventually I did put a mask on but it took me a while because what started happening the breeze started blowing back the paint onto my face so I figured I needed to get something to cover and protect myself So yeah, you had to get all be between those um, posts. Which was kind of challenging. So I had to keep going back over areas that I thought was okay. But I'm telling you guys, this paint sprayer is a lifesaver. Because like I said, I would never have decided to paint any of this stuff if I didn't have one of those. Because it would have been just too much for me to do on my own. Yes, I went, I did all the way around, all the way around the, the fences, all the way in the, around the back of my property. So I was able to get all that taken care of. Okay guys, so here is the finished. I didn't want to keep, um, and I think my camera ran out of memory or something, so I wasn't able to film all of it. So this is the end product. This is after I finished. I managed to get some plants that I, Lowe's had 50% off all their shrubs and perennials. So I spent like, I think 20 bucks and got quite a few plants and, um, so I had a big shrub. I don't know if you guys remember from my lawn care video. I had a big shrub in the middle of my lawn. I, I was able to dig that up. I got rid of all the leaves that were stacked up there. I got to do something with that area later on. But see, that's my gate where I come in when I get off work. So I was able to put a plant here. And those, um, what you call those? The, the bricks type thing that was in the middle of the lawn where I had a big shrub I dug that up because I didn't like how it looked anymore and I wanted to get rid of it so I dug that up and I threw that away um, and that's my garden there see I was able to get the spray all in the back there so see so it just hopefully those shrubs and stuff will grow up well and this is where the big shrub was so I put my fire pit this is just a temporary fix. I'm, I'm going to have to find something else to put there. So, and that's, of course, Bella getting that suntan. I don't know what she's trying to do. But anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. So remember to check my new videos every Friday. Okay? And subscribe, tell a friend, share, turn on your notification. And I see you next Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.